Hi guys, this is Greg Siegel from Codable, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add auto audio to your Xcode project. project. So, the first thing you want to do is go to Xcode and go to create a new Xcode project. We're going to go to single view application and go next, and we're going to call it auto audio. Spelled wrong, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about this, there we go. I'm going to save on my desktop, and we're all good to go. So the first thing we want to do is to go to build phases, go to link binary items, and we're going to go to the plus, and we're going to go to A, B, and then we go AV foundation dot framework. And we're going to add this, and this is going to allow us to play audio. So for mine, I'm going to have audio playing when the app first starts. It's going to be a Metallica tribute app for today. So we're going to just going to jump into appdelegate.m. Um, we're going to just going to copy this. We're going to import our AV foundation. And did it come up there? No, it didn't. Okay, we're going to have to manually type it. It's AV foundation forward slash av foundation dot h ah a little disease there and that's all good so I'm just gonna move that up there gonna give us some space so we can work with this I'm gonna adjust this to middle I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that okay so the first thing you need to do is do dash, brackets open, void, brackets closed, and then do awake, capital F from, nib, capital N, and we're going to do a space, and we're going to do curly bracket, or, I'm not sure what you really call these, they're not curly brackets, they're like, indus, I, I, I can't remember what they're called, anyway, it doesn't matter, capital N, SS, um, so it's string, space, star, path, and an equal sign, two brackets, ns bundle, with the capital B, and we're doing the space again, main bundle again. Yeah, it's with a capital B. Um, and then once we've done that, we don't need the space, we just need to do bracket to close that off. We're gonna do a space, capital P. It's not a capital P, path the resource. Double click there, I'll make our life easier. And we're going to do at speech marks. And we'll do speech, speech marks again, leaves in space. Um, and I'll just type in what, what it's going to be. Our of type, and then again the at symbol, speech marks, and it's going to be mp3. So this is where our music's going to go. Another speech marks, close it off with a bracket, and then a semicolon. So where we put that space, what's wrong with this? Use unreliable path. Does it want to capital P maybe? Hmm. Okay, that error probably will sort itself out anyway. If we uh zoom out, just need to drag in my Dyer's Eve abridged. I'm just gonna drag this in here. I'm gonna copy into destinations folder. Um, I'm actually gonna create a new group, new group, music, I'm going to call it, I'm going to drag that there, drag our Dyer's Eva bridge music, um, then I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm also going to drag in this Metallica PNG and drag that in there as well, uh, that will be used for later, I'm going to do it now while I'm at it, I'm going to create a new folder again, Cool. Track that there. And I call it images. Like I always do. I'm gonna drag that in there as well. So it's all nice and tidy. Okay, we're gonna zoom back in and jump back into appdelegate.m. Okay. So let's just see what our music was called. It's called Dyer's Eve Bridged. That looks like it's spelt right. 
don't want any errors. Okay, that's all good. That little error there, that should sort itself out with any luck, but um, we can always come back to it. Okay, just need to type in AV, capital audio, capital P, player. Uh, then we're going to have to have a star here, and then space, the audio. I believe that needs to go there. Okay, what's wrong with this? Unknown audio video. Did you mean AV? Yes, I did. Okay, we didn't do the capsule there for the V. Remember the capsule. So that's all done. We're going to do a space and do equals. We do another space and do two brackets. Uh, NS bundle. Um, sorry, my bad. That is AV audio player alloc bracket close space in it with contents um, of URL. I'm going to double click here and that is, let's have a look. Huh, okay. Let's just see where we are. In it with contents of URL, and then let's just delete this. Uh, contents of URL, we need to do colon, um, space, bracket open, ns URL, file URL, all spelled with capitals, remember, capital W with path. I'm just going to keep on writing colon, and then path without the capital, bracket close, space, error, in no capitals, Oop, colon, and then capital null, all spelt in capitals, bracket close, semicolon, okay. Once that is done, do another space, and bracket open, the audio, space, play, Bracket closed, semicolon. And yeah, okay, all the errors sorted themselves out. That's fantastic. We can move this back up. Oops, need to bracket, semicolon, deleted that. Okay, so that's all good. That is our audio all sorted out. That will play as soon as the app starts. Um, now we can close that, go to our images. Um, I want to actually drag, if I zoom out here, I want to go into our, I want to leave that there for a minute, go to summary. Okay guys, I'm back. I've just changed that, it was uh, the wrong way round unfortunately, but that's all sorted. I've added it back in, and now all we need to do is just drag it to our launch images. There we go. Yes, I do. So that is all sorted. We've got our launch image, we just need to set the time for that. So if we jump back into our app delegate.m, we can go into launch options, make a space. We've done we've seen this before, this is the sleep code. Yeah. And I just wanna we'll do 27 26 seconds. It's a long time, but that's how long the music lasts. It'll make more sense when we've uh, opened it. There we go, we got no errors. That sleep code's going in there okay. So, we uh, just zoom in for you there. So that's our sleep code, it's sleep with no capitals, curly bracket open, 26, or the number of seconds you want, curly bracket closed, and then a semicolon. So we're all good to go. We'll select the iPhone 5.0 simulator. Okay, so we're just gonna run it in the simulator. As you can see, the build succeeded. Okay, and the music will start playing. The splash screen will last 26 seconds, like we said for the sleep, and the music will carry on playing throughout the screen. And there we go, the music has stopped. So fantastic, it all worked. Um, 
So I've just taught you how to add auto audio to your Xcode project. Um, you can use this in many different ways. You can use it um, with the splash screen. You can use it when someone clicks on a view. There's many, many different ways uh, that you can use it, and it's I find it incredibly useful sometimes. It just really adds some atmosphere to your application. So I'm Greg Siegel from Codable. Thank you for listening.